Hey everyone, uh, Kyle Levitt, Bachito Blogcast. Um, yeah, very special day today, as always. Uh, if you may recall, um, last week, we, Grant and I played at the Japan Cultural Fair, the 26th annual, I believe. And I'm not sure if we said it on the show, but it is kind of extra special because uh, that's where Kevin used to play when he was living here. He used to play there for many years. So it's kind of we're keeping on the tradition. Is nice. Um, actually, I have an interesting story, kind of. Kevin had invited me to play there when I was 16. I guess about like a half year after I met him. And it was a few weeks before, and we were going to get together to practice. And we practiced once. And the day before the festival, I called Kevin, and he said, um, Oh, you know, we haven't practiced, so I guess we won't play that song. And I responded, yeah, Okay, you know, cool, fine, you know, no problem. But inside, I was just broken up because I really wanted to play. <coughs> um, and I wasn't even going to go, but um, some friends of mine were in town. They were, really wanted to go to the fair, so they like, okay, we'll all go. We went. I awkwardly walked up to Kevin, and he said, Oh, you made it! Uh, ready to play on stage? I stammered. and That was very interesting. Unfortunately, my friends um, managed to film a little snippet. Yeehaw! That was rocking. <clears throat> yeah. So, last week, Grant, when he left my house, he forgot his Jikotabi. But, like the good Padawan that I am, I've been guarding them over with my life. Did I just... Last week, when Grant left my house, he had forgotten his Jikatabi. And, like the good paladin that I am, Paladin. I've been watching over them, guarding them with my life, never leaving my sight, even for one minute. Because that's what friends do. So Grant, as soon as you can, come by and pick these up. As you know, tomorrow morning I have my class on traditional Grecian-style grape pressing. Um, in the nude, mind you. Uh, anywho, next order of business. Oh, the final treat. Um, we must go to my room of homemade instruments. Here we are. Uh, these are all my shamisen assembled in order of epicness. And as you can see, the Ipe shamisen, which was a failure, is in perfect order because it was an epic uh, disappointment. So, yeah, we'll go into them in order. As you can tell, this is the first shamisen I ever made. Uh, hard rock maple. Um, the sol has a nice, sleek curve till you get to the bottom where it goes to a squarish shape. I thought it was cool, so I left it like that. Let's give it a listen. fix all this stuff like round this round the soul and whatnot but it's kind of it's like a moment a moment of history I, so I'm not gonna change it or anything moving on this is the second shamisen I made it has uh, East Indian rosewood and what stands it apart from all the shamisen behind me is that I made a soul uh, Mitsuori and I haven't made another one since this because uh, it took so much time and I never ended up really disassembling it all that much, so it just wasn't worth it. I could probably do a lot better and quicker now, but now I've got Bachido stuff to do, so even better projects. Uh, let's give it a listen. Homemade Chamisen number three, 
uh, made with paruk wood, which in Japanese is called Indo Karin. Indo being India, and Karin is the cheaper wood used for shamisen. So maybe it's related somehow, I don't think so, but I should check the family tree a bit more. No pun intended. The Ipe Shamisen. Shamisen number four, made with Ipe wood. Uh, last year, I wanted to make a brand new shamisen using everything I learned from the shamisen makers in Japan the previous year. So I looked online for the hardest wood I could find, because apparently for shamisen sal, the desired wood sinks in water. So I came to the Ipe wood, and that sunk in water. The only problem with it is that the wood is so oily that even if you put acetone to remove the wood from the oil, to remove the oil from the wood, the oil just returns. So I only found this out after making the whole shamisen. And you can see the areas in the dole have already started to split because the oil has returned. Epoxy, wood glue, anything, even with acetone, the oil comes back and just ruins the glued bond. So it was a good learning experience. You know, I think my neighbors actually like the sound of this one the best. Fifth shamisen, final shamisen, Bloodwood, epic name, no introduction required.